You had people like Africa, Africa Bambata, Soul Sonic Force, very futuristic. You had people like Grandmaster Flash, very much about social awareness. Social awareness huh? And you had people even like a little bit later, like Mantronics, you know, that in many ways were the or was the forefather of electronic uh, music. You know, ultramagnetic MCs definitely taking it to a to a different level. What are you most proud of in your career? You know, some rappers and the producers made very little music, but they wanted to get great achievements for very little music. I made a lot of music. You know, I was making music because I loved it and I liked making music. A lot of people made music corporately made music because the record labels uh, they had to re make, make the record for a deadline. I made records because I like to make records in a natural way. That was a most proud. That, that was one of the things I was most proud of. How you like to be remembered? I don't mean this like in a I don't know, like a down kind of way, but I mean if we look at history books and we you know learn about certain genres of music you have people that are, you know, in many ways are revered, and I think that, you know, I believe, well, I know well, that you're going to be one of those people. How do you want people to, what do you want people I to know about you? I, I, I wasn't afraid to uh, break any rules musically, whereas people were scared to break rules in the music business. They were scared to, you know, do things differently, arrange things differently, go with, um, Putting a record out differently, you know, they didn't worry about, you know, I didn't worry about no schedules. I didn't worry about no, where a bar should come in, where a bar should go out, where a bridge should come in, where a bridge should go, where I lay vocals, where I start a vocal, where I end the vocal, where a record is fast, slow, medium, a note on a song I played, I didn't worry about if it was in key or out of key, I just broke a lot of rules. I want people to remember me as breaking rules, which a lot of people, 90% of the people were scared to do was break rules. I, I broke a lot of rules in the music business. You know, just do, just the rules of the format that somebody set up and set it in a way that they said it should be this way. I broke all those rules. And what sparks creativity for you? Creativity for me, what sparks creativity is when everybody else in the music business sounds the same. That sparks creativity for me the most. When everybody sounds the same. You know, so that makes me better and different because everybody's the same. So I have no problem with making records because they make my job easier when everybody's the same and they think they're different. That's the problem now. Everybody thinks that they're different. They're not really different. They're doing stuff that somebody else did a long time ago, or they're following somebody else's trend. You know, that's what makes me different when I see them continuing to follow somebody else. And what makes Cool Keith happy? Uh, writing. Writing is therapeutic for me. I like to write, whereas a lot of artists don't like to write. They like to... See, I physically write with my hand. You know, it's like drawing an artist, taking a pen and writing some type of craft. A lot of people text. A lot of people try to memorize it in their heads and stuff like that. I mean, I like writing. It's just... I think when you write, you can write something that's put together properly. It's like an art. It's like a painting. You know, I just don't like to, you know, texting is never, it, it's a later, it's a later technology. It's not, it wasn't there, you know. Imagine Picasso trying to text his pictures that he draw or something at that time when he was texting. You know, you know, then, you know, going to the studio, piecing stuff together with your head, you know, you in the studio, you know, you're trying to piece line for line, you know, you're like, my Nikes, my water come in later and then blah, blah, blah. Wait a little while, 
the chair, I don't think like the memory thing is cool. Cause you can hear that too when people's, you know, you know, that's not sometimes, I don't consider that a great art. I just consider that just a person that don't write no lyrics. They just lazy and then you can hear it. But you got a lot of people that can get away doing that stuff because, you know, that's what they do. They can manipulate people to think that's some type of crafty art or something in their minds. Like people get off on, oh yeah, somebody can put some lines together without writing no lyrics. And But if you're another rapper, you can hear it. It's just that the public is too retarded to hear it. You know what I'm saying? And you, when you think it's good, and you give people credit for that. That's no. That's nothing to like appraise somebody for. You know, some people should sit down and write something nice and put it together nice. You know, nobody does that. You know, it's just you know, in the text and things still. You know, you're reading from a phone. It's it's no, it's no type of art. It's not your body. It's not. It's not like you're painting a picture or something. It's it's, it's far away from being. Artistic. My top five hip hop artists of all time. It's really hard to say. I like um, my top five hip hop artists is Criss Cross. My second artist would be uh, Vanilla Ice. My third artist. MC Hammer. Our fourth artist is um, my fourth artist would be Jimmy Spicer. My rapping artist would be Rapping Duke. Those are my top five artists of my preferences. In the music business, that's who I think is better than a lot of people. You know, basically now, with a firm certification, with a firm, with a firm certification on it. 